Anytime you ask people, you know, what they, what do you think is a good trademark? Inevitably, they're going to tell you about entities that they respect. So they're going to say, you know, here, Apple and Nike and whatever. It has nothing to do with their trademark. It has to do with who they are, you know, what they produce and your relationship to them. Understand who you're doing this for, what their needs are, and what you could do that would be appropriate and different and special. What constitutes a good trademark is the same today as I, I think we felt then. We always very much like simplicity or doing you know, something that was bold, simple and strong. And so today it works for apps, which of course we never thought of at the, at the time. One of the things we often show is a, a whole board or you know, screen of a lot of the marks we've done. And we don't say when they were done and then we put up the dates they were done and some were done 50 years ago. And some were done last year. It's hard to tell. I had never heard the phrase graphic design at all. My father wanted me to study economics. I wanted to do art, basically. I looked into Yale University. Then I found out what graphic design was. And that's really where my inspiration came from, with those, those two years, uh, both from the fellow students. It's where I met Ivan Chemayev. With National Geographic, they spread out into so many different things. So what happened is every one of those wanted their own logo. They wanted to have National Geographic, but they wanted to have it National Geographic maps or books. They had so many different versions of the yellow rectangle. And there ended up being somewhere between 50 and 100 different little entities, the design staff there, who didn't know what to do. They had all these logos. How are they going to make sense of it? We had the idea that we could really simplify this thing, get rid of all of those, and just have a National Geographic and one version of the yellow rectangle, a new lettering style to say National Geographic. And then under that, you could say, you know, videos for children or whatever. really explore what's out there and what you're interested in. People, I think today, tend to be focused on you know, certain areas. You never know how things tie together and things are gonna to continue to change at an even more rapid pace. But I, I do think there's huge opportunities uh, out there, you just have to search them out.